I confess, just recently I've had a bit of a Chevy Chase binge. Chevy Chase was a favourite actor of mine in the 1980s, without question when he was at his peak in terms of cinema, and from time to time here in the 2020s, I'll see YouTube videos about whatever happened to, or perhaps talking about how he can be allegedly difficult to work with, and they'll remind me of the guy and usually lead me to watching one or more of his films. Fletch, from 1985, is actually one of the Chase movies from the 80s that I probably watched the least as a kid, largely because I didn't fully appreciate what it was. It wasn't as immediately funny and slapstick as The Three Amigos, or as flat out glorious as the first National Lampoon's Vacation film. It had a little more, I don't know, edge. Originally a novel written in the mid-1970s by Gregory MacDonald, which then became a series of 11 novels right through to the mid-1990s, Fletch is Erwin Fletcher, an ex-marine turned journalist who writes a column for a Los Angeles newspaper under the byline Jane Doe and gets himself involved in all manner of comedic mysteries. And don't worry, although I'm about to mention some plot points, I'm still not about to spoil a 37-year-old movie here. I'm not a monster. The premise of Fletch is that he's working undercover as a drug addict at the beach when he's spotted by a guy who offers him a huge amount of money to murder him in a few days time, claiming that he has cancer and the insurance will help his family. Intrigued by such a request, Fletch begins to investigate the guy, realising that it may just tie into the story he's already investigating at the beach, which his newspaper editor wants some closure on, and that the local police chief may also be involved in. Where does it go from there? Watch the movie. I think Fletch has aged really well as a film. Although it's absolutely a comedy, there's still a, a vibe to proceedings, an edge. Like I mentioned earlier, there are times where it genuinely feels like Fletch is in serious danger, so it's not just a goofy romp all the way through, although, with Chase delivering his trademark physical comedy and hilarious lines, you're never too far away from a release valve, even when things feel a little too real. And you know, cards on the table, if someone was to ask me today to point them at a great Chevy Chase film from the 80s, while Vacation probably still is the sentimental favourite, I don't think Fletch is too far behind. At least for me, it's a very different sort of film to Vacation in terms of storyline, even if Chase's acting shtick isn't too different between both. Speaking of Chase's acting, Roger Ebert, the film critic, actually criticised just that in his 1985 review of the film, commenting, and I quote, Chase's problem as an actor is that he perfected a personal style on Saturday Night Live all those many years ago and has never been able to work outside of it. The basic Chevy Chase personality functions well at the length of a TV sketch when there's no time to create a new character, but in a movie it grows deadening. Fletch is filled with a series of extraordinary situations and Chase seems to react to all of them with the same wry dubiousness. Now, personally, I disagree with that. I think if you like that kind of detached vibe in your lead, where they're kind of bemused by what's going on, and as a result come across as quite smart and witty in relation to everyone else, Chase's take on the Fletch character goes down like a cool beer on a hot day. So anyway, that's Fletch, an 80s movie that still stands up today and is definitely worth your time if you like 80s movies, Chevy Chase, comedy, mysteries, or all those things, and I reckon that would be a fair number of you out there. By the way, if you didn't already know, a new Fletch film called Confess Fletch started production in mid-2021, featuring Madman's John Hamm as Fletch, along with his Madman co-star John Slattery, although I have no word on who Slattery will be playing. Perhaps Fletcher's editor at the newspaper. Who knows? Something I do know, however, is that Kevin Smith already tried to adapt the novel Fletch 1 back in the 90s without success, but this time around it is very much happening under the eye of director Greg Mottola, who certainly knows a thing or two about comedy, having helmed Superbad back in the day, and will finally be seeing some more Fletch on the big screen presumably later in 2022. 
Unfortunately, someone who won't be seeing the new film is Gregory MacDonald, who passed away in 2008 at the relatively young age of 71. I wonder what he'd make of the new Fletch. Anyway, do you remember Fletch? Or even its sequel, Fletch Lives? Are you a Chevy Chase fan? Are you excited about the new John Hamm version of Fletch? Did you even know it was coming? Why not let me know the answers to all of these and more, whatever you want to talk about, in the comments 